Andrea from Dairy Farms of Wisconsin is here with some a great soup recipe, yeah. and this is soup weather, I'll it tell you that. It is. It is kind of a dreary day here in Wisconsin, <laughs> so a good day to maybe stay inside, cook some homemade soup, and this one is absolutely delicious because it is loaded with dairy goodness. Very you wouldn't expect anything less from me, right, Mark? Absolutely. <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. So the base has whole milk. We have two types of Wisconsin cheese, also some onions that's cooked in butter. Then you can also top it off with some sour cream. So I think we loaded five different dairy <laughs> products in this soup, so very rich and delicious. And it it doesn't take that long to make either. So you're going to start, we have three pounds of Yukon gold potatoes. My favorite. So you got those potatoes, you're going to actually peel them and cut them into half inch cubes. And then in a saucepan, you're going to chop up um, one onion and also cook it with a little bit of butter because you need to brown it, get a little mm -hmm. bit of goodness. And then as um, that starts to simmer, you're going to add uh, five cups of whole milk. We have whole milk here from Sassy Cow Creamery, a local favorite. And then uh, five cups of chicken broth as well. So you get the base layer. Then you're going to add in some vegetables, so also some chopped broccoli. And then after you let all of these ingredients simmer on the stove top for about 20 minutes, you can add in your cheese. So you have one cup of uh, Monterey Jack, and today we're using a Monterey Jack that's actually made locally. About 30 minutes west of Madison, you can find this at Cedar Grove Cheese in Plain, Wisconsin. Okay. They're known for their award-winning cheeses. They've won a lot of awards and also for their master cheese maker there on site. Is that the one right on the highway? Right on the highway. Yeah, you can pass it. You can stop oh, yeah. and mm -hmm. go get some cheese. And then to kick it up a little bit, we're going to add in some spicy cheese. So um, Henning's Cheese up in Keele, Wisconsin is known for their flavored varieties of spicy cheeses. So they actually have a Dragon's Breath cheese. They have a Habanero. <laughs> they have Chipotle. They have Pepper Jack. You name it, depending on the level of spice that you want, um, they can make it. So um, Henning's cheese is another Wisconsin favorite. You can see that proudly Wisconsin seal is a fourth generation cheese factory, also known for their Wisconsin master cheese maker. So between the Monterey Jacks and the cheddar, both of the cheeses melt beautifully, and they're also great cheeses to add flavor to. So Wisconsin continues to add more flavor varieties of cheddar and Monterey Jack as well. So, so, so you can see that kind of... Um, the, the cheese just, um, you know, melted in there. And then you can have some fun at the end if you want to add more spice to it. We have some sliced jalapenos, some bacon, some onions and chives. So you can really add some color to it. Mm -hmm. You can add more flavor if you want, Mark, and then also some sour cream as well. So it really is a complete meal all in one. So it all, just all in one all pot? All in one pot, very easy. Start to finish about how long? Um, probably about maybe one hour by the time you cut everything and prep it and cook it for about 20 minutes. So Tur not too long. And and it makes such a large batch that you can have it the whole week. <laughs> Everybody can have yes. it. Yes. All right, the recipe's online, of you course. You can find all the recipes at wisconsincheese.com. You can learn more about our cheese makers and all the stories we have here in Wisconsin. Perfect day for soup, yeah. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Perfect right. day. And thank you. Thank you.